Hi, Cruise family. This is Julie. This is Ellie. And we are here to um, just basically talk to you about the cruise coming up. It is in how many days? 250. 250 days. Not that we're counting. Um, <laughs> this is a first time for all of, uh, for a lot of you, a first time cruisers. Um, so there was a lot of questions and we just thought we'd do a couple of different videos, uh, over the next few weeks talking about different aspects. Today, our topic is things that you need, need to bring other than clothes other than clothes there's there's just these little things we've picked up along the way some things are very super obvious some things you may not have thought of so uh we're going to talk about the first one which is to me the most important and obviously the most you know the thing your passport um you need to bring your passport you need to order your passport if you have don't have it already um I'm compulsive about this. I will call you the night uh, that we leave and make sure everybody has it. So, um, so just make sure you have it. Make sure you have it plenty of time. Would not be the first time a group got all the way down to port and somebody didn't have their passport because they thought they had it. They just forgot it. Um, so you do not have to take off your, your passport off in every port. Like, for instance, Cozumel, super... Uh, if, friendly go ahead and grab those yeah, super friendly friends. um for tourists and i will just make a copy of ellie's take with me because she doesn't have an id uh, and then we'll just take our ids these will just stay in the safe in the room yeah um so what is next ellie uh, don't mm -hmm. you have another thing no nope, not yet oh okay um lanyards it will hold your signs down car Sign and sail card. I can never say that right. Um, and this is basically your pass to anything. On the ship. Yes, on the ship. Um, your room key card, your debit card, your restaurant card. You cannot go sit down unless you have your card. But yeah, this is your key to everything. All right. Um, let me take a quick look at that. As Ellie mentioned your sign in sale card, you'll get this at check-in at port. Um, they will poke a hole on it. What are some other things other than lanyards somebody can um, use? You can do a keychain if you put it in your purse. Try to put it in a zipper place in your purse instead of just an open pocket. Right. Um, purses, I carry a crossbody purse because um, I like to carry my tablet up on deck with me. Uh, so I have my phone and my tablet and everything in a crossbody purse or fanny pack. Mm -hmm. um, my phone, if it's going off ship with me, which it always does, I have a protective cover for it. This is actually is a submersible waterproof one called a Sea Wag. Awesome. It keeps the sand off my phone and it goes underwater for some great snorkeling footage um, that we got last year in Cozumel. I put that on a lanyard as well, so I have it ready for pictures in port. Uh, this lanyard says Easy Cruise will Parking. We will get to that in another video. Um, you can order these offline. You can um, order these spiffy luggage tags offline. Uh, these are not necessary. We'll talk about luggage tags also in another video, but these uh, come like in packs of six. Um, but yeah, a, a purse, if you're going to put your stuff in a purse, just make sure it, it zips up and is um, secure. What other, other than purses? Um, I have something to add to your, yeah, that. Okay. Um, but you can actually, um, work with your phone in that, so yeah. it's good. Make sure you have a good one that you can actually turn on your phone and turn it off. All right. Like so, that. um, let's talk about going off ship. Like I said, I take my sea wag with me. Um, we also typically take? A backpack. My dad usually ends up rocking it. Um, first thing you probably need to take is sunglasses. Not one pair, not two pair. And she's dropped the third pair somewhere. Yeah. But multiple pair. Yes. Um, next, sunscreen. Sunscreen is always good. I have a, this is a kid's bottle, but you can just get a regular bottle of sunscreen. And then a water bottle. Where is that? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, knocked the water bottle down. All right. Yeah. Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, you can get this on the cruise or just at Dollar Tree or something like that. 
but just make sure it seals really well and we like the double side whatever double walled yeah double walled ones because they don't sweat as easily and it won't get your other things wet all right, um, a little bit more about the water bottle. You can order specialty water bottles offline that says your name or the date or whatever. We just usually, as long as they seal really well, we're happy. Uh, you can order, or I mean, you can buy bottled water on the ship. You can buy bottled water in port. You can, same with sunscreen on the ship, in the port. Pricey. It's just pricey and it adds up fast and there's better things to spend your money on. So just get those things ahead of time. Uh, the ship has ice machines, has water machines, have iced tea, has lemonade. Um, we fill these around and tote these around on board with us with iced tea and lemonade. When we go on shore, we fill them up with ice and water. Um, but water bottle, a number one, super duper important. If you're a huge coffee drinker and want to bring a big coffee cup, fill that bad boy up in the dining yes. room and, carry it with you around the ship. So, um, it's just little things like that, that we wish we would have known on our first trip. And so we weren't buying stuff on board all the time. Um, another thing to put in the backpack is towels. Um, when you go ashore, the room provides you or the ship provides you with, uh, towels and they are pretty awesome yes. towels. Um, just make sure and remember doing the back because if you don't, you get charged for them and they're not cheap. But we like to use the ship's towels because when you get back from a sandy, sweaty, wet day at the beach, you just change them out. They'll take care of laundering for them and just replace them with clean, nice, fresh ones. So um, we talked about a couple things to order online. Mm -hmm. uh, along with the, oh, right there. Along with the protector for your phone. Um, we suggest some power cords because there's not very many outlets in your room. Um, and you'll need more outlets, especially if you're charging electronics and using curling irons and all that kind of stuff. The key thing is what? Don't put, sur well, don't have surge protectors. No me. surge protectors. So many power bars have built in surge protectors. The circuitry of the ship is not conducive to that. It actually is a fire hazard. So if they find a surge protector on your power bar, they'll just confiscate your power bar. Um, so you can get the ones without the surge protector. I like the ones that have the USB ports already in them. So you don't have to waste an outlet on a USB port. And, um, yeah, get a, a non surge protector, um, power bar. What um, else? <laughs> There's limited outlets in yeah. the room. What else is there limited? Storage. Storage and, um, other things like that. So we have little magnetic hooks that, um, we can just buy off of Amazon. They, um, last a lot of years. But in your cabin, your walls are metal, so you can basically stick them anywhere and it'll hold. Um, like if your water bottle has, uh, <laughs> if your water bottle has a hook, and um, we're and, getting loopy here. This is like the tenth time we've tried this video, yeah. and um, um, you can just hang it on there, lanyard. Hats and, and can, hats. Yeah. Um. So yeah, these these are pretty spiffy little deals right here. What else with limited storage and limited space? Pop up a laundry basket. That's right. Pop up laundry hampers. We typically get ours at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Um, you just pack them. They fold down. They pop up mesh metal. And we stick them in the bottom of the closet. Yeah. And um, after, you, after they're all full, we just stick them in a... Laundry, not laundry basket. We were, we yeah. were just talking about we, that. We we dumped the dirty clothes <laughs> in one of our empty uh, suitcases. And that brings you to medicines. That brings me to medicines. Um, uh, <laughs> my glasses. All right. So we talked about lanyards earlier and multiple sunglasses. One of the reasons we bring multiple sunglasses is they're easy to lose. They're easy to forget somewhere. They may fly off your head if you're doing some type of exciting thing on shore. Um, I usually bring some kind of lanyard or something to. Uh, tie around my sun, my regular glasses so they don't fly off. Uh, speaking of prescriptions, prescription glasses, um, I take prescription meds. I always bring extra. If I can do it a whole week extra, you never know what's going to happen. And I like to bring either the original bottles or at least a copy of the prescription 
um, itself. So if there's a problem, they know what I'm on. <laughs> you goofball. Uh, know what I'm on. Um, if you get motion sickness, there's all kinds of, C they're called C-bands. They're like little wristlets. There's patches that go behind your ear. Um, any kind of meds, just make sure and bring extra. Um, if there's an emergency, they do have onboard medics. Ellie ended up there a couple years ago with a um, swimming ear. Uh, so, but bring extra meds, bring baby powder. Sand will come off of baby powder. Um, if you get chub rub in the heat, like I do, uh, that just helps in that. Aloe. So, aloe, some maybe some spray aloe. Your um, glasses. What's about your glasses? I got about my glasses. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you got your phone there? Woohoo! Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Let's try that again. Yeah, time for kid tip. Kid tip. All right, Ellie made a kid tip. All right, Ellie, it's all you. We'll probably do this every single video. It's just a few things that kids will need to know for thing for the cruise. First, you need to bring electronic. It, it well, let's start this out with. Pack a car bag. Yeah, pack a car bag. Because that's what my kid did. Is. <laughs> um, make sure it's big enough to hold your things, but not too... You don't need a whole suitcase. Yeah, it doesn't need to be a suitcase. Um, first, you need to bring a some type of electronic. Don't bring it on the ship because there will be plenty of things that you can do. Okay, you can take it. Um... Next is bring some headphones because when you're in the car at night, people probably don't want to listen to what you're listening to. And then this is my favorite part. Wait, no, we still have to do this. Um, bring a pillow, a nice travel pillow, and a good just car blanket. Um, and then now is my favorite part. Car hop bingo. Road trip bingo. <laughs> um, we got those at Target. They have them right now. We're hoping $1. to get a major multi-car road trip bingo game going. And when you get a bingo, just text everybody. Yeah. Bingo. Um, or you could, I saw these. I'll be right back. They're in the show. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where she's going. This is something that was not planned. Mm -hmm. Um. So, basically, there is, oh, there's a um, road trip scavenger hunt. Oh, yeah. interesting. I haven't seen those yet. I saw those in your... Oh. Um, so, basically, uh, we are just really looking forward to this trip, and uh, we are planning on leaving the 12th, um, the night of the 12th, and just traveling overnight and getting into Galveston early the next morning. And we'll go over carpooling if anybody wants to ride together um, and meet up times and meet up points. Uh, we just really, really just can't wait to hang out with you guys and spend some quality time. If you have any questions, if you, specifically about something we didn't cover or something we did cover and want to message us, awesome. We look forward to it. If you've cruised before, like Jonna and Chad have cruised um, with their kids and they have, if you guys have anything to add, Jonna, Chad... Um, please do so make your own video have your kids make one it's it's awesome um, we're just we can't wait we're hoping to have some type of maybe pre-cruise get together yeah. or dinner somewhere uh, maybe in January at some point and just all meet because um, obviously Kenny's family knows each other and we know John and Chad but not everybody knows everybody so yeah. um, we look forward to doing our next video and hearing back from you and getting feedback about what to cover next time. Mm -hmm. So we love you guys and we can't wait 250 more days and counting.